everyone, this is a video about the structure of sarcasm, how to be sarcastic without being rude. Now, sarcasm involves saying the opposite of what you mean in order to evoke humour. For example, if I say, I really love spending my weekends making videos about sarcasm, you'd understand that I was actually being sarcastic and joking about the fact that I do not enjoy spending my weekends making videos about sarcasm. Hello everybody, my name is Kimberly, and we are going to look at the structure of sarcasm. How to be sarcastic without being rude. Now, sarcasm, when used correctly, can be the most effective form of humour, but it is so easy to get it wrong. And today, we're going to dive into the world of sarcasm in comedy and see how to use it correctly, okay? Now, there's a few rules to bear in mind when wanting people to both understand that you're being sarcastic and to find it funny, which is the main thing. Number one, make it clear that it's a joke. Sarcasm isn't just a device used in order to be funny. I mean, it can also be used to express negativity too. So making sure that it's clear that you are in fact being funny is vital when you want to get a laugh from your sarcasm. Therefore, delivering your line with the right tone is so, so important. Like take for example, I love that we have to bring our own lunch. Now that was said in a non-sarcastic way, you see, but it sounded genuine. Now, if you say, I love the fact that we have to bring our own lunch, right? Said in a sarcastic way, that gives a totally different tone entirely, okay? Do you see the difference? Like, it's clear in the delivery of the second version that I'm being sarcastic and actually do not enjoy the fact that I have to bring my own lunch. I've said this with a certain tone in order to like make it clear that I'm joking. So you could make this even more clear by adding more to the sentence by saying, I love the fact that we have to bring our own lunch. I really think that it's very convenient for me to have to carry my food around all morning. And that would emphasize the sarcasm and make it very clear that you do not mean what you're saying. Number two, self-deprecating. So another way to ensure that people find your sarcasm funny is by making it about yourself and you the target of the sarcasm. So if you're being self-deprecating and laughing at yourself, then it allows other people that you're saying it to, to feel safe and laugh at you in the understanding that it is in fact a joke. Now, there's a risk of offending people when you're being sarcastic about them and it's not clear if you're joking, so it's often safer to just aim the joke at yourself. For example, if I was wearing really comfy clothes and I had this like stain on my shirt and I could say, Paris Fashion Week, here I come. And it would be clear that I was actually looking so bad that I was so unfashionable and totally not in the right outfit to go to Paris Fashion Week. Also, facial expressions and body language are really important. So if you want to really make people sure and know that you're being sarcastic, use body language to make it clear. Like if you deliver a line that is deadpan in tone, not everyone will understand that you're not making a serious statement. So adding a certain facial expression or arm gesture can really, really emphasize the joke and make it really clear that your statement is humorous. For example, if I say, it's really cool that I got a parking fine, in a really sort of straight way, um, it's not clear that I'm joking and whoever you're saying it to might just think you're plain weird. But if I make it really clear and I like say, it's really cool that I got a parking fine uh, and deliver a line like that sarcastically and you know, use my thumb and smile, then this, will make it really clear that you're being funny. And in order to ensure that you use your sarcasm correctly, remember number one, make it clear that you're joking. Number two, deliver the line in the right tone. Number three, be self-deprecating. Make the joke about yourself and others will be encouraged to laugh along with you. And number three, use facial expressions and body language sarcastically, nodding, using arm gestures, smiling. These tips will help you to make sure that you're using sarcasm correctly without offending people. Well, that's all we have time for in this video. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you like what you see and tell all your friends and family and ping them the video if you're feeling lazy. And I would love to hear what you think about sarcasm when you've used it. Let me know by dropping me a comment below. And um, while you're waiting for my next video, um, 
You can subscribe to my TikTok and Instagram channel and you can find your way to those in the resources and links below. Thank you so, so much for watching and we'll see you again pronto.